Hey guys, Leif here. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple triggerable audio event for your NPC character. Like this. I'm now going to press the E key. Placeholder dialog. Placeholder dialog. Okay, let's open up the audio character blueprint. I mean, tutorial blueprint. One thing I added to this really simple character I made, well, borrowed, I threw a collision sphere onto the character, named it Audio Sphere. You can name it whatever you like. I set its radius to 200. Like again, you can set that to whatever suits your needs. It's set to over gen over generate overlap events. Its collision presets are set to overlap all. And I made sure to add the events to the graph of down here in the events tab of on component begin overlap and on component end overlap. Okay, to the event graph now. On component begin overlap, we first check to make sure that the player character is the actor that is currently overlapping the collision sphere. Uh, to do that, we use a boolean equal function and a get player character node. We feed that into the branch. If it is true, then we set is in sphere to true. Is in sphere is how we check whether we want to be able to play the event, play the audio or not. On the component end overlap node, it's essentially the same as the begin overlap, only we set it to false when the player character leaves the collision. Over here we have our little input and event graph. When you press the E key, in this case, you can set it to any event um, option that you'd like. It goes into a branch. It checks, is in sphere true? If it is, then we spawn sound at location. For the sound, just put whatever dialogue you'd like to have there. And for the location, in this case, I set it to the actor location by using a get actor location node. And that's pretty much the basics. I hope you like that.